Hey guys, Harris here, and this is the Pebble Time. This is Pebble's newest smartwatch. This and the Pebble Time Steel, which just took over Kickstarter, are meant to take over Pebble's previous watches, the Pebble and the Pebble Steel. Now this takes a new approach with an entirely new OS and a new screen. It's got a very basic and limited color screen, but it is an improvement over the black and white display on the previous Pebbles. So of course I have this in front of me, and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, and yeah, that's it. So of course we have the Pebble Time itself, we have its new charging cable which doesn't work with the previous ones, but is a new flat cable which I do like so it doesn't tangle, and then we have some documentation. Now the first thing I noticed after picking up the Pebble Time was just how loose and kind of thin and flimsy the band was. It's a silicone band and it's just really really light and flexible and twistable, and this does make a very comfortable experience when you're wearing the watch, I did notice that, and especially when you have the curved back on the Pebble Time, it's a very subtle curve, but it is something that is nice, it makes it pretty comfortable, and the Pebble Time is a little bit slimmer than previous Pebbles, so it makes for a pretty comfortable experience I found when wearing this. Now I'm still not a big fan of the design of it, and it's not anything that would be catching your eye, and definitely is a smartwatch, and I think it's a down step in terms of the Pebble Steel, but of course that's why they made the Pebble Time Steel as well. So this is the cheaper option between the Time and the Time Steel, and you can definitely tell. Now the new OS is basically operated under past, present, and future. Instead of having your app drawer, you can scroll up to view your past things, events, weather, etc., and then scroll down to get your future events, weather, and more notifications or alarms that you may have. And really, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a person that uses the calendar on my phone a lot, so this doesn't really help me at all. And I really like the stack list of applications on the previous Pebble OS. And I'm just overall not a fan of the animations and the design of the new OS, but I'll certainly use it and test it out and see if it changes at all. This does have similar dimensions to the Pebble Steel and the Apple Watch. Of course, it varies over watch to watch. I really did like that this was pretty thin. I like watches that aren't super bulky, but of course, this does still have a big bezel surrounding the screen and it also has a microphone, but on my iPhone I haven't really found a use for it yet. And of course there are apps for both iPhone and Android available for this, although the iPhone app just came out very recently due to a delay. So overall, this is the Pebble Time. It's got a new OS, which I'm not a huge fan of, a design that isn't completely awful, but of course isn't anything spectacular either, a price tag that is in between the older generations of Pebble and the new Pebble Time Steel, and that's about it. I'll certainly test this out and bring up a full review and comparison soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know what videos you guys want to see, and I'll catch you in the next one.